we are honored uh, today. We've had Ambassador Carla Sands with us several times and haven't been able to. I just would, she's running for uh, U.S. Senate in the primary, and I think, is, Carla, could you? Oh, there you are. You want to come up here? So, we want to pray for Carla. I have a debt of love to her family. Anna and I, when Anna and I first moved here, her parents were really kind to us. And uh, Jack and Barbara Heard, Dr. Jack Heard, if you, anyway, he's, I used to travel to Europe and people go, oh, you're Pennsylvania? Do you know Dr. Jack Heard? You know, it's like all over the world, amazing. And uh, said, yeah, they were wonderful neighbors. And uh, Carla, you were out in California for a long time. You've you were served as ambassador to Denmark and uh, did a lot of great things there. And now you're, you're back here in Pennsylvania running for U.S. Senate. Um, why, why are you doing that? Here's the microphone. I, I, we want to pray for her, but I just want you to know we're praying for somebody real, okay? <laughs> so. Thank you, Pastor Charles. So, yes, I... I grew up here in Cumberland County and practiced as a third generation doctor of chiropractic alongside my dad in Camp Hill. And he and my mom, Barbara, helped to found Christ Community Church a long time ago. And then uh, I did go on to serve as your US ambassador to Denmark. I went there in 2017 and served until about a year ago. And when I went there, I looked for a home church and I found it at Hillsong. And so when I returned about a year ago, my parents said, you should go visit Life Center. And I did, and I found my home church when I came back. But when I went to Denmark, um, I learned that Billy Graham's sister said that Denmark is the darkest corner of Christianity. Two to 3% of the people who live there go to church regularly. But I did things like creating jobs here at home while I was there, working for all of you, and securing our country against adversaries like Russia and China. But my Pennsylvania ancestors fought in the American Revolution and in the Civil War. And I really believe, folks, this is our time to fight for the heart and soul of our great country. I think that the righteous are being called. Our country is founded on godly principles, divinely inspired. Our laws are of God and man. And I believe that the righteous are being called to defeat the beast right now. I will ask you to pray for me, <laughs> pray for Pennsylvania, and pray for our great country. Thank you, Pastor Charles. Thank you, Carla. Do you mind standing here while we pray for you? So would you, why don't you stand up and stretch your hand of blessing out to Carla. Father, thank you. Thank you for this gift that is the nation of America, the United States of America. God, we pray that your hand would be on this nation, that what looks like the darkest hour will turn into its finest hour, that you will raise up godly men, godly women from around the nation to change the direction and trajectory. God, we pray for Carla, we bless her, we bless this season in her life and that you've called her to this. We ask you to, to, for protection, for wisdom, for guidance, and we bless you, God, and we just thank you that your hand is on this. We ask you for mercy in Jesus' name. And we bless you, Carla, you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>